Welcome back to another day in the life of a reseller vlog. Today is Friday, April 5th, also known as the day before my nephew Cole's 27th birthday. If you're seeing this, Cole, happy birthday. I hope you have a great birthday and a great new year. Yeah, I don't get to see Cole very often because he's out there in sunny Arizona and I'm stuck here in Washington. Uh, I'm sure the summer has hit over there already. We're still waiting for it here. We've got a few days. Hopefully we'll get a good one today. Uh, today we're going to be doing an unboxing, uh, continue with an unboxing of a toaster unit. Uh, this was a unit I bought for $79.16 in Cedar Woolley. Uh, we started yesterday with the unboxing. It's turned up all kinds of great things. And I thought today we'd start with the toaster. Yeah, we can't very well call it the toaster unit without showing you guys the toaster. Here it is. This is the one that caught my eye. There was two, but this was the nicest one. It turns out this one was purchased from Goodwill. Still has the sticker on it. I don't think it was ever even used. So we're going to plug it in, try to give it some use, uh, maybe toast a few sandwiches up for lunch here, and then we'll get started with the unboxing. Uh, we got some more great totes ready to get into. Um, a whole truckload of stuff in the driveway, including a 50-gallon uh, tote, one of those big ones on the wheels. Um, it was totally full. I'm also going to go through some clothes and some shoes today. There was plenty to go, to go through. Um, there were some nice purple ASICs. I said I was going to show them to you yesterday, but never got around to it. So we'll look at those today. Um, but first, let's see if this toaster actually works. Here's a little look at it. It's got the sticker on it. Only $1.99 at Goodwill they paid for this one. It's called the, the Premier... Premier? Pioneer Woman. The Pioneer Woman. There it is. The Pioneer Woman, it says right there. has the nice floral accents on both sides. Pretty cute little toaster. I can see why it caught my eye, but does it work? That's the big question. Defrost bagel and cancel down here. Cancel, rather. And uh, one through six, we got the settings over there. So we're going to get this toaster uh, heated up and see how it does. Right, we got the sandwich fixins out. We're going to have a little turkey pastrami with cheese, the Duke's mayonnaise, and the traditional Kroger yellow mustard. But first, let's see if this one actually works. It's plugged in. We got it on uh, level four. We're gonna start at four. We don't wanna heat it too much. We don't know how this thing uh, heats up. Let's see, is it working? Does the toaster from the toaster unit actually run? I'm smelling, I'm smelling a little heat. We're getting the, getting the cobwebs uh, burnt out of this thing. We're gonna get um, a nice toasted sandwich. So let's begin. All right, we have success. There it is, the first toast. From the new toaster, how did it do? Oh yeah, nice golden brown on that one. Let's get these sandwiches made. So I think we're gonna do one toasted and one untoasted. We're gonna get these lathered up and ready for some turkey pastrami and cheese. Did I say lathered up? Maybe that's not the right word. Smothered and covered? Maybe, I don't know, we'll see. We'll get it done and I'll give you guys a look at the finished product. All right, mayo and mustard complete. We got some cheese on one side. All that's left is to slice up a little turkey pastrami. We got it sitting here, ready to be cut into. And then the toaster sandwiches are complete, ready to be devoured. Just a reminder, after lunch, we are going to get into those uh, storage bins and see what we got in the rest of this unit. The toaster unit from Cedar Woolley paid $79.16 for two truckloads. Got them both home from Cedar Woolley in one day. It took me about six hours. Uh, two large uh, truckloads. I uh, did it all by myself. Came home, tuckered out, crashed out, and uh, yesterday we began unboxing. We did uh, some donations to Goodwill and got through uh, several totes yesterday, but today we're going to really get after it and see what else we can find. All right, there it is. We got the meat on there. If you guys haven't tried this, this is a Foster Farms turkey pastrami. Paid $6.30 for this. Was willing to try something a little bit different. I got it at Fred Meyer. Six dollars and thirty cents for this big one. I like to cut it thin and uh, get it on these sandwiches. It lasts quite a while. It's kind of uh, nice and tasty because they put that little pepper on the top, and uh, you get that in in each bite. If you spread the meat just right, you cut it just right. It has the pepper top on the. Um, the pastrami when they put it in the packaging. It's pretty tasty. It says here on the packaging that it's chunked and formed dark turkey rubbed with spices. 
Mm-mm. All right, I'm going to eat lunch over here, and then after that, we're going to get into these orders. Here it is. Looks like we had four orders for $200 and $228.56. $228.56 for just four orders, so we had some good ones. I'm going to finish those sandwich, pack up those four orders, and then we'll get into the garage, and I'll show you guys the unboxing that we've completed so far, what we've found so far, and what we hope to accomplish today. All right, we've got Jelly Roll on the fighter and the kid today. I'm going to eat this lunch and uh, watch a little bit of the podcast here. Uh, Brendan and Brian uh, have Jelly Roll. I wonder uh, what do y'all have to say today. The first item that sold, sold for $17.11. It's a Nike Dry Fit Gray Hooded Sweatshirt. Children's Zip Up Top. Solid Size Medium Rayon. Second item that sold, sold for $127.85, their Nike Air Foam Posit Pro Metallic Gold 2017 Men's Basketball Shoes, size 11, model 624-041-701, keep an eye out for these. Third item that sold, sold for $20.32, it's a Hager Q Flat Front Beige Men's Dress Pants, size 38 inch waist and 32 inch inseam. For those of you who are resellers and looking for pants, these Hagar Q actually sell better than regular Hagar pants. So if you see that Q, uh, go ahead and pick them up. And finally, these boots sold for $63.28. They're a pair of Sims Freestone Wading Fly Fishing of Felt Sole Boots. Brown, men's size 14. So I actually just bought those boots on March 25th. They were listed, and uh, here it is, um, April 5th they sold. So it didn't take long, $63.28. I want to say I paid $20 for those boots, uh, hoping to move them quick. I knew the sell-through rate was good. I didn't price them too high. I was kind of the middle of the market, uh, just hoping to triple my investment. And it didn't take long to do so. So it was nice to see my hunch there pay off, $63.28. We're probably profiting close to um, $40 on that pair of boots. Not too bad. Uh, Maybe $50. Maybe maybe $30, rather. $30 profit, because we got to pay for shipping. All right, through the magic of video there, they appear some pants, uh, a sweatshirt, a pair of boots, and I put those uh, athletic shoes in another box. So we got a couple of boxes, a couple envelopes ready to go. All right, there they are. Four orders, two to FedEx and two to the USPS. And here come those labels fresh off the printer. Let's get them on these packages and get them ready to go out in the mail today. All right, we got our two FedEx orders up there. I think we're gonna leave them up there so we don't get them mixed up. But here's a couple for the USPS. Let's get them in the tote and a one and a two so while we're packing orders i think i'm gonna log into the small store i think i forgot to log into the small store yesterday and check on orders so uh, i like to ship same or next day so we definitely got to log in there see what kind of action we got Uh, maybe we had some couple sales we'll check it out and i'll let you guys know all right it looks like we just had one order for seven dollars and nine cents it was old beat up uh, la dodgers hat an old baseball hat i got one of these lots let's get it uh shipping for it printed as well here's a look at it as you can see it had a uh, pretty significant stainage uh, around the LA uh, logo there uh, so we had to list it kind of cheap but came in one of the hat lots was probably not one of the finer hats 47 twins was the brand extra large Dodgers um, LA Dodgers hat they were okay with it uh, though so we will sell it to them so that was part of one of those uh, online arbitrage purchases I did. When I get these hats for 2 to $3 a pop, sometimes there is one or two in there that are in subpar condition, and that one was looking pretty rough. I went ahead and listed it up. It sold for $1.58 plus shipping, so we're probably not quite even making our buy cost back, but uh, we're getting a few bucks out of it and uh, sending it on to a new owner, and uh, we'll just work on profiting a little bit more off the others. So that's what you got to do sometimes, uh, just get your investment back on certain uh, items when you're buying in bulk like that. And uh, this one will move on to a new home and hopefully they're happy with that deal. Little Dodgers hat for under two bucks plus shipping. Alright, here comes that label. There's that Dodgers hat in that envelope there. So we're going to add this to the tote. Get this uh, label printed and ready for it. Alright, one more for the tote. All right, now that we got our orders packed, I thought we would jump into unboxing. The moment you guys have all been waiting for, we're going to get into this toaster unit. 
see what else we can find start searching those totes for some more uh, treasure stuff that we can sell online for some big bucks let me show you a couple more items that came out of this unit though this was in it a whole pack of brand new diapers uh, we'll probably send that on to some family who have little ones uh, make use of it. This was in it as well, a Cuisinart. That was a food processor of some sort. Pretty nice looking machine though. Um, came in this, you, we could call it the Cuisinart, the food processor unit, but we're calling it the toaster unit. But this was one of the nicer appliances that was in there. So there was some diapers, there was a food processor, there was a toaster, there was a TV. Uh, there was a printer, um, but there was also some clothes. I've got some clothes set out here. I'm going to start getting them ready for washing. Um, I'm going to do a couple loads of wash this weekend and hopefully get some lots of kids' clothes listed. There was plenty of kids' clothes, and we did get some in the Everett unit as well. So we're going to throw those through the wash, do a one rinse through the wash, and get them uh, looking fresh and ready to be listed and uh, hopefully make some money on clothes as well. Here's a look at the kind of the loose clothes I grabbed from a few different bags. And then here are the kids' clothes from the previous unit. So we're gonna get these put in the um, laundry baskets and ready. Throw them in there, separate them by color, and get them ready to uh, wash and be ready to list. All right, we got it separated. We did find this uh, bag, it was a cute bag. Unfortunately, the zipper's broken, so we'll just have to get rid of that one, but uh, a lot of colored clothing and almost a white one. We got a few um, brand new items here. We don't have to worry about washing these. I showed this one to you. Sleep Under the Stars. This one you saw yesterday. And then there were a couple more kids items here that were brand new. Um, this one is uh, just one U, nine months. Little onesie and uh, another plaid check checkboard, I guess. Uh, checkerboard color um, onesie. This one is... Uh, just one you, 18 months, nine months and 18 months. So uh, we've got them all covered. The little ones will be dressed nice. All right, here's a look at some more stuff. Well, there's that other toaster. There was the nice toaster and then there was this one. This one might be a more of a donatable. Looks like it's missing the tag here. And then there was this Cuisinart oven. Uh, it needs to be cleaned up quite a bit. I'll we'll have to plug that in. I don't know if it works, but uh, might be worth uh, testing out. We got a tote here full of purses and bags ready to go to my mom, mostly for donation. And this was also full of clothes. I didn't get to that yesterday, so I think we're going to get into that today. See what kind of stuff we have in there. See what we can unveil. It's like all kinds of hats and clothes. And there was this. Uh, this was like a skirt, a leather skirt. Look at that. Probably faux leather, but... Uh, We'll get into this, see if there's anything worth um, listing. There was a couple Christmas items, a couple fun Christmas items. We got the My First Christmas uh, little Mickey Mouse um, stocking. And then here we got a kind of military style. This was what by the brand LA Police Gear. It's also a stocking. You hang that there from the chimney or from the mantle rather. And a couple Christmas items. So here's what we're gonna get under today. We're gonna get in there and see what else we can find. Another truckload of stuff under there, so uh, plenty to search through. All right, we got one load of laundry going. Uh, all the colors are in there, so we got room to fill this one up. And then we'll uh, probably do a load of whites once that is full. So that is part of the process if you want to be a storage unit reseller. Um, you got to do some laundry if you want to make some money off of those clothing. A lot of times they show up kind of uh, dirty and uh, you got to give them a rinse. You got to give them a wash through at least once and uh, get the stink off them and uh, get them cleaned up and looking fresh, ready to be photographed and listed. You don't want to sell a bunch of dirty clothes to people. So uh, we do we do wash. Um, especially storage unit stuff, we wash it and uh, get it out there nice and fresh and clean and ready to be worn. Obviously not everything has to be washed. These are brand new, so we're not gonna run those through. I'm gonna pull this clothing tote here into the laundry room, go through it a little, and we'll give you guys a look at anything cool that turns out. This is kind of a fun item, came out of the clothing tote. It's a polyurethane skirt, has a price tag of $24.97 on the back here. It did come from Goodwill, um, so we'll pop that off, but $24.97 they bought that for um, back in the day, for probably for Halloween maybe, who knows. We're going to throw that into this left tote. That's going to be the adult size stuff, and this is going to be the kids clothing. We'll get a couple of totes here full, and then as they come out of the wash, uh, the dryer rather, we'll uh, throw them in here accordingly. So we did find a couple new items. This is splatter ball. I showed this in yesterday's video. We found that splatter ball, 12 color eyeshadow. 
brand new. And then these two king size mattress bags. They had a little dirt on them. I wiped them down, cleaned up nice. So uh, those will be ready to list as well. So I'm not really sure what a king size mattress bag sells for these days, but uh, I imagine I could just search it up and list accordingly. Uh, definitely put a few bucks in my pocket. People are always looking for those. And we got two brand new. We did find this really cute little pink and white kids uh, dress. And you see it. Under Armour. It's written in the stars and the moon. Stars and the moon. Got a Minnie Mouse dress, a Minnie Mouse. All right, I apologize for that laundry noise. Wanted to show you a few items as I pull them out there. As you saw, we got some Under Armour. Uh, that skirt, some brand name stuff. It looks like there was a lot of kids stuff that came from uh, Goodwill. Maybe Grandma bought those for her. You saw that uh, Minnie Mouse. Uh, there was a brand new dress, a couple of nice dresses, kind of. And then there were some other items here, some other brand new with tag stuff. Let me show you. you got this size XXL Planet Gold pink dress, a nice pink dress, kind of a different design. Planet Gold is the brand on this one. XXL kind of the spaghetti strap so a nice brand new dress. We got a couple kids skirts here. This one is brand new Modern Moments by Gerber. Um, so a couple brand new skirts. I don't know if this was the dress I showed you or not but there was this yellow dress. It's kind of tied in the back so uh, it has this pink bow on the front. Really pretty uh, dress. It's by Joni Mitchell. 24 months 2T. Um, so a nice looking uh, floral dress. I think I threw that other one through the wash. Um, and this one was nice enough we probably don't have to wash it. It doesn't look like it was ever worn. So like I've said in past videos, part of uh, being a reseller is kind of finding the new home for these items. And that's kind of what we have to do with these, you know. Maybe grandma bought them for the grandchild and they grew out of them. Never got a chance to wear them. But uh, we're going to pass them on to a new home, find a spot for them for, so they can be used. The brand new clothing, we can always find a market for that. And we even if we lot them up, you know, this next batch we probably will lot up. You know, there's not a, a significant amount of value by itself. Like that little dress, that little yellow dress we could list by itself, but these uh, probably will lot them up with the rest of the kids' clothing once it comes out of the dryer. Let me give you a look. So these are just basic Garanimals, you guys know the brand. This came from Walmart for a dollar. So a little skirt, a little pants, and a little tank top up here. Um, 12 months. This is actually the brand Dip. Uh, so Garanimals and Dip. So there were a few uh, women's items, brand new women's items in this, uh, that tote as well. You know, over the years I've learned to adapt. Men's Choice, you know, I would, it started as a men's clothing store. And slowly as I got more and more storage units, you realize that a lot of it is women's clothing, you know, that... Uh, Women like to buy clothes and we get a lot of it. There's abundance of stuff that goes unworn and uh, we can make some money off of that. So we got a nice dress here, a nice plate, basic white dress that we can list up. Brand new with tags. Let me give you guys a look. There it is. I put it on the floor so you can get a better look. But the brand is Wild Fable. Size extra large, uh, Wild Fable. So a nice kind of spring summery dress. We'll get that in the tote and uh, ready to be right, listed. We got the two totes, the kids tote and the adult tote the, starting to fill up. Some good uh, inventory. Um, we'll get this stuff uh, photographed and listed when uh, need be. But of course, I know you guys didn't come to see a bunch of clothing items, right? You want to see the rest of what's under that tarp. We're going to get into it. There's a 50-gallon tote in there. We gave you guys a sneak peek at it yesterday. One of those big ones that roll around. Um, so I think that's what we're going to start with next. We're going to pull the cover off that and get in there and see what kind of stuff we can find. So this was a tote I was talking about, this 50-gallon uh, Hyper Tough here. Um, it is a little rough on the top. I think I'm going to clean it up, kind of clean as we go, um, wipe it down a little, get all the dirt off of there. Um, we got to do that and keep things looking as clean as possible. Yeah, that's a nice looking tote that I probably want to use for myself so it doesn't hurt to clean it up as we go. Uh, get it looking fresh. That way we can uh, bring it in the garage and use it uh, in the future. All right, we got the lid cleaned up, looking fresh. Had to spray it with the hose. But here is that tote that we were talking about, all the contents in here. We're going to pull this stuff out and take a look. All right, we're getting into this bag. Let me give you guys an update at what we're finding. As you can see, we're about halfway through it. Uh, we found some nice handbags over here. Well, nice is a relative word, but uh, we're gonna add those to that tote over there to go to my mom. She'll sort through them and let me know if there's anything worth listing. This is like a little diaper changing bag, a couple of different smaller purses. 
Nine West, uh, and then this is kind of a little kid's bag, sole. There was a little jewelry box here and some moisturizer and stuff. So we're going to add this all to mom's tote. I think she might want this too. I don't know if she can clean it up and maybe pass it along to the thrift. So uh, we'll see what, uh, what she wants. So over here we have more finds in here. We'll add this watch to her... Uh, tote as well a little Seahawks watch that probably has a little bit of value um, but it looks like it might have a scratch or two on the face there so not in great condition some more moisturizer uh, some nails some Amazon basics these are those little pellets I think they're similar to uh, what we found in the brand new pack here's a little pair of Carter's sunglasses those are really cute we could probably sell those online um, this was a unfortunate a little a Lego set got squished. This would probably be worth a, 15 bucks or so, maybe more if it was in better condition. I've sold these in the past, but I will probably try to sell it as is. Just say it has box damage. A lot of people collect those. This is a little suit for a dog, touch dog it's called. It's kind of like a little padded suit. Their legs go through there, I guess. Here's a little first aid kit, band-aid, has band-aids in there. This is full of rubber bands, a little uh, cool um, box with um, a butterfly on it. And then over here is a little notepad. We pulled a few sheets out of there and it has much more. Over here we have this uh, little radio capella, it's called. We'll plug that in and see if that works, I don't know. Arctic air, some sort of air conditioner, fan or something. And then we got a couple more plush, look at this, a little pig cute little pig so we'll add that to the bag of plush and then a teddy bear we also have a uh, hair dryer there and this is some sort of tool I'm not sure what it is oyster so maybe something for the kitchen I think a mixing tool of some sort so we're making our way through it we'll get into it a little more and I'll let you guys know what else we find all right success we've made it to the bottom of the tote let me show you what else we found over here we found some kids books we got the beast who could say boo I can do it myself with uh what's his name uh Ernie is that Ernie and uh, choo choo chica boo we got Elmo's alphabet and we got beauty and the beast and uh, is a camel a mammal by Dr. Seuss. So some nice uh, kids books, we'll set those aside. We can always do a lot of kids books once we get enough of them. Over here was a pretty nice little Logitech keyboard and some sort of circuit printer, I think it is. So we got more printers, who knows. Is that a printer? I don't know. It's got a handle and everything. Maybe it's something else. I'll have to look that up. There was this thing. I opened it up and it popped right open. Some cute little uh, little play doll thing. Doll house, I guess it would be. You put your little toys in there. It was kind of cute, I thought. And then over here we have this pair of champion shorts. A nice pair of champion shorts. We did find a couple pennies. Always uh, good to find that. And we did get uh, some more tools. Uh, we filled this up with screws. All those screws were in the bottom. Some had fallen out. We did get this little painter. So there was some painter supplies in there and stuff. Um, some painter's tape and uh, more little tools. A level. Another one of these uh, discs. Warrior disc for uh, some sort of uh, sanding tool, I'd imagine. And over here we got some kids' toys. I'll probably donate this stuff. Uh, little kids' toys and then a bunch of wiring. I don't really know what it all goes to. But, you know, some power supplies and stuff. A lighter, a charger and stuff. There was more um, uh, body lotions and all kinds of shampoos. Some bubbles here. Uh, this was for, uh, you put your paint brushes in it. So brand new, this one is brand new, this one is used. Uh, you saw that there was more of these, a bunch of more of these little pellets. Um, so uh, we keep finding more stuff. This has a price tag of $29.97, but you find these uh, pretty cheap at Ross and stuff and Amazon closeouts. It's for the iPhone 11 Pro, so it's for a good phone, so maybe there is some uh, demand for that one. And then uh, we found this for the dog. We found a leash and a ball too, so... Uh, and here we got some citrus hand sanitizer gel. We could always use some of that with all this mess. Oh yeah, there was this, a little magnifier. You can use that to search what kind of gel this is. And uh, there's a couple pens. We can always use a couple pens. Um, the rest of it you think, I think you pretty much saw. So nothing really of significant value, but uh, piecing it together, we got the book lot. We got some more... Uh, 
supplies for uh, the toolbox, uh, the pair of shorts. I know I can make $15 on that pair of shorts. And then the rest of it is kind of uh, unknown. The Lego set, we could sell that. Um, but there's, you know, some money here. We just got to figure out what it is. This appears to be a bag full of dog stuff. So I'm going to go through that next. Might have a couple little uh, books in here and photos and whatnot. Oh yeah, we did find a couple more jewelry items. There was this. This was a beading, uh, some sort of beading, and it had the this little bracelet. So uh, I'll bring this little bracelet to my mom, see what she thinks of it. Two more bracelets here, and this is an original Mickey Mouse 1928 watch. Probably a replica, obviously, but obviously, but these Mickey watches do sell pretty good. So that probably has a little value if we want to sell that. So a couple more jewelry items in the bottom of that tote. So I think what I'm going to do is get that tote cleaned up, get all that stuff cleaned up, let this battery charge a little on the camera, maybe list a few items into my store, and then we'll get under that green tote and maybe grab some more uh, stuff to search through. Hopefully we can get through a little bit more than just that huge 50-gallon tote, but uh, there was a lot in there. Uh, be sure to leave in, the, leave in the comment about what your favorite item was or if, maybe if I missed the value of something. Uh, be sure to uh, put that in the comments as All well. Right, the first load of laundry is done. I'll give you guys a look at the better things as we put them into these totes. Uh, we'll start separating that. So I'm going to throw this second load into the dryer. We'll get that over there starting to dry. And then we'll get this third load. We got enough for a load of whites. We're going to wash this little pillow. It's kind of a cute little pillow uh, if the stains come out. Um, we'll get that cleaned up and... Uh, Hopefully you can find a new home, who knows? All right, let me show you some of the stuff that's coming out of this first load of laundry. We got a few nice items. A uh, few items were a little too stained probably to list, but uh, there is some money makers in here, so let me give you a look. This tote is filling up with just basic stuff. Uh, there's this nice pair of Under Armour shorts here. Here's more kids stuff, a little bit of the nicer things. Uh, some gray pants here with the um, overalls, or what do you call them? Uh, suspenders rather here's a pair of denim jeans with the suspenders this was that cute little uh, bunny has the bunny tail on it for uh, Easter for the kids GH Bass and Company little burgundy uh, t-shirt long sleeve a little pair of sweats and uh, the best brother in the universe there we go so we're finding a few more little fun little items this is a little dinosaur uh, overalls here and over here we got a nice blue scrub. This has the nice pockets in it. This one has zip shut, like a bunch of pockets. And under that is a nice Massimo dress. Look at this beautiful Massimo dress. And then you saw the Under Armour. We got a little Nike now, a little pair of Capri athletic pants. These are the dry fit size large 10-1 legend pant, they call it. Of course everybody wants that right they want to be legendary they would be known as a legend they want their legend their their aura their legend to continue and uh you got your pants we got the pants for you so the nice nike capri they got the legend pants all you got to do is put a pair of those on and uh, you're legendary that's all all right so we got a tote about half full of kids stuff and the same with the women's stuff and the, the adult stuff there this one uh didn't come out quite as clean as i would have hoped it was pretty dirty when we found it and as you can see the hem here has a little bit of stain we might spray it and try to uh put some stain uh, remover on there and get another wash to try to get that stuff out um, sometimes that's what it takes is a couple washes. There were a pair of a uh, couple nice items up here. Nice uh, plaid skirt. This gal definitely had some style to what she rocked. Um, what is it called? Something Royal Bones. The Royal Bones. So, and then there was a pair of uh, Lane Bryant kind of uh, animal print jeans. I guess you would call them jeans, size 20. So, uh, definitely some uh, cool style. She uh, kept a fresh. Uh, Bigger sizes, but uh, that's always good in the resale world. It will sell quicker. All right, as you can see, we did make some progress here. We got this tote all cleaned up. I just kept the wiring in case we need one of those down the line. This was all the purses and jewelry that's going to go to my mom's. We have that nice uh, jewelry box right here that has a lot of jewelry. I gave her some of this uh, girly uh, lotions and whatnot. Maybe the, some of her, she wants it or somebody at her work wants it. I don't know. We got a garbage. Over here we got another bag of donations. This is all the donations that came out of this tote over here. Along with this guy up here. Um, and there's a few others. Um, this were little kids... Uh, 
chair we're going to donate. We did find some photos, a bag full of photos that we're going to try to get back to them as well. So um, there is a little bit of keeper. Up here is the box of stuff I want to list. Uh, this phone case. I'm going to check out these electronics. Maybe this Lego case. I uh, might put that on. So that's kind of the box of incidentals uh, that I'll list along with the clothing. And again, we have all these DVDs. we got to see if those are in there. I have not checked yet. So... Uh, plenty to look through this electronics and this Cuisinart this that's a project right there that might be a weekend project to get that thing cleaned up look how filthy that is uh, hard to believe that uh, that thing is still operational but uh, probably is once you get it cleaned up I don't see anything really wrong with it you look around it uh, it looks to be pretty tip top other than the disgusting uh, inside look at this look at the mold you scrub, you, that's going to take a little bit of scrubbing. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That might be more of a project than I'm willing to take on, but uh, who knows? Might make some time for it this weekend. Who knows? Up here we got the other toaster. We'll probably donate that as well. And this is a pretty nice little um, keyboard. Um, looks like it is missing a piece up here. So I don't know. We might donate that as well. I don't know. It's a... Uh, a Logitech. We'll have to look it up. Maybe if those are going for decent money, we might list it up as is, but probably not. Um, and then the purses, I showed you that already. Those will go to mom and she'll decide if any are worthy of me listing or not. Yeah, I still got a lot of tools sitting out here from the Everett uh, storage unit. Those two units in Everett had a bunch of tools that I put mostly, most of them in the toolbox. But we got to sort those out a little bit better this weekend and uh, maybe decide what we want to do with them. Um, we have had a tool sale. Glen Haven here has a uh, garage sale once a year and one year we did a tool sale and we put all the tools out and did pretty well so we might do that again. Uh, my wife likes to separate those into boxes and do that sale on occasion. Uh, we'll see if she's up to it this year or not but uh, we definitely have some more tools coming in and who knows what's under this green tarp. Um, there probably is a bunch more tools in there too, too. so uh, we can keep building our tool inventory and we'll have a heck of a sale come uh, garage sale season. So I think I'm going to close up the garage for now. That might be all I do today. I don't know. We'll get after it again this uh, weekend. It's kind of dreary out there. I don't like uh, hanging out in the cold too much. So uh, we might make it uh, just that one 50 gallon tote today. Uh, deal with the clothing. We got those other two loads coming out of the dryer. So plenty to work on. I do have a bunch of hats I've been trying to get listed so I might get into list mode. List a few hats and keep that money rolling in. Um, that's probably the plan but I want to thank everybody for watching this one. A little unboxing of that toaster unit. Still getting after it. Finding some new treasures. We did find some uh, more jewelry which is a uh, promising. We found that one uh, the green little uh, jewelry box when we first opened the first bag that came out of so that was exciting and uh, today we found a couple more watches, the Mickey Mouse watch, the Seahawks watch, a couple more bracelets. So my mom will have to go through that stuff. Uh, there still is that gold ring. I kind of was wondering if that might be real gold. Probably not, but uh, we'll, give, we'll give her uh, an opportunity to look that stuff over and let us know if there's any gold or silver in there. That's always the fun part when you hear back from mom and she tells you there's a silver ring or something. So. Uh, I know we found a couple in the last few units, so uh, there may be another one in this one as well. We had another sale out of the small store. This uh, shirt sold for $14.84. It's a Croft and Barrel black polo shirt, size extra large, short sleeve men's cotton. Here comes the shipping label. Let's get this label printed and this order ready for the post office. One more for the tote. All right, it's about 8.30. I just logged back into the big store and good news, we had two more orders. Let me show you guys what sold. These sold for $16.95. These are Mad Love Brown sandals, faux fur insoles, size 10, open toe adjustable with buckles. This item sold for $31.97. $31.97, it's an audiophile 96 CD compact disc carrying case storage green and black keyword fabric so two more orders for forty eight dollars and ninety two cents uh, i got those um 
CD carrying cases in storage units. So oftentimes you find a stack of CDs in one of those cases. You pull all the CDs out, you sell those uh, individually, you bulk them up, whatever you want to do with them, and then you can sell the case. So uh, you can kind of double your uh, profit there on selling the case. Obviously that one sold for pretty good money. And then uh, you still get all the CDs. You can sell them one at a time or you can bulk them up in a lot. Uh, that's ten, that's what I tend to do. I still got a bunch of CDs all that came out of those uh, cases. I finally got the cases listed. Now I got to tackle those CDs. Uh, I'm gonna separate them by genre and uh, bulk them up eventually. But uh, good to see that carrying case sold. I've already sold quite a few. I think I had about ten cases that I got out of uh, storage units buys, and uh, finally got around to listing them. And they're starting to sell. And uh, they do sell for pretty good money, especially the big ones like that where you can you know, put like 96 CDs in one case. You got to keep an eye out for those. There they are, and here come those labels. Let's get these ready for the tote. And get these to the post office tomorrow and make sure they get out on time. Two more for the tote. Starting to fill this thing up. One more and two more. Let's get that one in there right. There we go. So it's almost 9 o'clock. I think I'm going to end the video here. I've got a stack of hats I'm working on getting listed here. Still a few more to go. Uh, I'll keep on working probably till 9 o'clock. But um, I want to thank everybody for watching this one. We'll get into more unboxing of that toaster unit. Uh, we had some good fun today getting into that 50-gallon tote. Got that thing emptied out and organized. A uh, nice donation pile there in the sack for uh, Goodwill or wherever we go to bring that. And then uh, some keepers to get listed. Uh, did this? Did three loads of laundry. We still got one more coming out of the dryer. So we got uh, about two totes full of laundry by the end of it. Um, one of uh, adult size stuff and one of kids stuff. So we'll likely uh, just lot the kids stuff up and then pull the best of the best from the adult stuff. There was some good uh, good items in there that I know we'll, we'll sell. And uh, also some uh, other stuff that we'll sell at a lower price point. But uh, plenty of inventory from this unit. Again, we only paid $79.16. So it's not going to take long to uh, make our money back. Um, you know, you sell four items and there you go. Your money's uh, replenished. And uh, anything else on top of that is pure profit. So uh, coming out of the dryer is probably enough to pay for the unit and then some. And we already had to... Uh, Two loads of laundry early on um, so plenty of inventory even if we just list the clothes we're in the profit um, but there's so much more uh, and we still have a whole truckload under that uh, tarp out there so I'm gonna get to that tomorrow show you guys the rest of it hopefully we'll get through the rest of it this weekend and uh, then we can get organized in the garage and uh, make another donation um, clear it out a little bit and decide what we want to do next whether we want to lay low and uh, start listing some of this inventory or we want to dive into another unit, who knows. Um, if we can make the space, it could happen. So uh, stay tuned, come on back, see what's next, see what comes out of that tarp. And uh, maybe we'll find another uh, box of jewelry, who knows. Who knows what's under that tarp. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscription button, ring that notification bell. That way you'll be notified when the next video drops. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.